Welcome back. So, in the previous video, we did a serialization of orphan nodes, nodes unconnected, not connected to anything. And um, we also have some logging going on. So you can see here what the the graph looks like, the serialization in this test. Uh, so we did the nodes, but we didn't save the values of the input ports, right? So right now it's an empty dictionary. So we are going to fix that in this video. But first, there's a few stupid things that I did in a rush. I would like to address and fix. So the first thing would be this variable here. So as you can see. I just I override the variable from the class method. Uh, so I just want to rename this by node class or something that make more sense and it's easier to read. And the same with this D. So yeah, I guess I can call this node data. So, no data. And the other thing I notice is I'm calling dot data dot note data name and and that's part of the dictionary, so I probably can do note name note data and change this by either items. So I actually use uh, the dictionary, so this would be note name. I think this is easier to understand, to understand cleaner. And if I run the test, everything runs the same. So if we if we take a look, oh, I didn't set this. Okay, if we take a look at the at the data, we have the name of the node two times. That's not good, right? Because we have to maintain this two times now. That's not good at all. And we also have output port, but we don't need to serialize that. The output port is the result of the node, right? The computation, and that it's done by reading the input ports and doing whatever the node is doing. So let's remove those. So I think that is in the void node. So we don't need that, and we don't need that. Let me run the test and see if everything is good. Everything is good. And now we have we don't have this uh, duplicated data, which is cool. The other thing, there's more. <laughs> Let me look for property here. So uh, soft underscore notes is a dictionary. And dictionary dot values returns a list which is good, so we can iterate on it, but a list is mutable, which means uh, when I get the notes, I can append stuff, and that's dangerous. And it's also misleading, because the user of this API might think that appending something to notes will uh, register or adding a note to the graph, and that's not what's happening there. So in order to prevent that, I will cast this to a tuple. So the user can only read the notes, but not modify this tuple in any way. So it's exactly the same uh, interface wise, but it's a little bit safer and, and makes sense, right? It, it express our intentions a little bit better. So that's it for the cleanup. Uh, let's move on to the input ports, right? It's the missing piece. So let's, uh, let me move here. And the first thing would be, of course, write a test for it. So right now I will extend this test instead of create a new one. So the first thing will be set some values here. So value one would be equal to two, value two would be equal to three. So now that node has some values, right? It's not known. 
and it gets serialized and then here uh, I want to ask if this instance node 2 which is the new node from app node so if if the node because we're iterating right if the node is an add node I want to test equality and I will say node 2 dot get input port and we pass here oops oh. uh, we pass value one dot value right I want to test this should be equal to two this should be equal to three and this is value two and this is output port and this is result oops the value would be equal to two plus three right cool so let me run this and of course we're failing the test because none is different than two right known there's no input port so let's serialize that uh, so I hope we are doing good time wise so serialize here so now we need to do for port in self that input port and we have exactly the same use case the nodes so I'm going to do exactly the same thing so let me real quick upgrade this to underscore input and I um, I'm going to create a property so I think it's 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 better so yeah here same thing property and the name is input ports self I don't need that and I need to return a tuple of self dot underscore input port dot values So I can, yes, I can do that now. Uh, in this case, we need to add to data, data uh, input ports. We need to add something with the name, so port.name. And this will be equal to port.serialize. So that way the port is modular and it knows how to serialize itself. So let's go to the ports, <laughs> jumping around like crazy. So yeah, let me do it right here. So yeah, def serialize. Oh, this should be self. So data would be equal to a dictionary. Again, as always, and this dictionary, so we have a name, but we don't need it because it's the key of the dictionary. We have an owner, but we don't need it because this is a nested dictionary, so it's kind of implicit. We have a value, so that's useful, so value. This will be equal to solve.value. And we have sources yes sources and this is tricky right so we are just say set empty set we're not yeah we're not worrying about connections yet and we return this data so if I run the test you can see here the values 2 and 3 but we are not using that right nonce is different it's not equal to two and that's because when we create 
from data here, we are not setting the values on the port. So it's a fix for uh, uh, no, no port name and port data in uh, node data and input ports dot either items. I hope that, that makes sense. So we need to know dot get input port and we pass the port name and then dot value is equals and we set the value so that's port data value so that should do it so let me run the test and oh it's good so you can see it's actually evaluating the graph one time and evaluating with those values two and three so that's good and actually in the serialization data we have the values there so that's pretty much it for this video in the next one we're going to talk about connections and in which order create the nodes because that's important when you have connections and well all that stuff so see you in the next one bye bye